There are several ways to specify the airside parameters within Coil Designer. Recall that Coil Designer uses a segment-by-segment -segment approach to analyze the coil. On the left-hand side of the main user interface is the Segments view. Each box represents a segment along the tubes in the first tube bank for the entire face of the coil. One way to enter the airside parameters for the coil is to simply click on one of the boxes in the segment view. When you do, a window appears allowing you to set the temperature, relative humidity, and velocity for that segment. If you are specifying uniform properties across the face of the coil, you can use the checkboxes at the bottom of the window. If you do not have uniform properties, clicking on each individual segment to make edits can be quite cumbersome. As such, there are several alternative methods to enter your data should you have two-dimensional air mail distribution across the face of the coil. Instead of clicking on the boxes in the segment view, go to Project Edit Airside Parameters. This window provides for several more sophisticated ways to enter your temperature, relative humidity, and velocity information. On the right is a table representing the same boxes seen in the segment view in the user interface. You can manually enter values, copy and paste them from a spreadsheet, or load them from a file. Once entered, the blue links provide a visual aid to understand the distribution for each airside parameter across the face of the coil. For velocity in particular, there are several additional options. Rather than enter values for each individual segment, you can have Coil Designer calculate the airflow for you based on some additional details. For example, if I know the actual airflow rate, I can enter that value and then indicate whether the airflow is uniform, proportional, or has a unique polynomial distribution across the face of the coil. To use the polynomial distribution, click on the Input Polynomial button. Here you can manually enter a polynomial equation representing the air velocity according to the normalized coil height. You can enter coefficients manually or copy and paste them from a spreadsheet. The final option for air velocities is to use a fan curve. This feature, however, is still under development. If you would like more information about this capability, please contact us at support at optimizedthermalsystems.com. When making changes using this screen, always make sure to hit the update flow and velocity before exiting. You will always be reminded of this requirement when closing the window. Note that if you go back and click on any segment now, that segment has been updated with your revised values.